Now, what we did in the previous video was basically take a look at one simple calculation that takes place in the spreadsheet um, if we're trying to figure out what a yield of a certain crop will be. What we're going to do in this video is take a look at the big picture, right? Because that's the only way for us to really grasp uh, the intricacies of what it means to be able to farm, right? To be able to grow food. And the way we're going to do that is uh, we're going to go out with Marv and he's going to walk us through the spreadsheet and all the different sheets within the spreadsheet. And that's going to give us sort of a uh, a nice, a nice visual of what the flow of information is, what the flow of um, it, the decisions they have to make is, and some of the tasks involved for them to get their project off the ground from basically going from the beginning of the season all the way to the end of the season. And the best way for us to do this, to get a nice visual of what's happening, is for us to create a flow chart, which is basically just a simple diagram showing the different tasks involved in a project and all the decisions, uh, you know, the, the main decisions, the cru crucial decisions that uh, one has to make to make sure that the project is flowing properly from beginning all the way to the end, okay? And that's basically what we're about to do in this video. And uh, the flow chart that we're gonna take a look at is what you see in front of you. And we're gonna continuously refer to this chart. And together with this visual and with what Marv is about to explain to us and the different sheets that we're gonna take a look at, uh, all of this should give us a pretty good idea of what's involved in farming and what it takes to be able to do a project like this. In the previous section, what we did was zoom into, uh, you know, one of the one of the sections in the spreadsheet and take a look at, you know, a couple of cells and, you know, what they represent and basically us functioning as a system because that's what we are trying to understand what Marv and Vanessa are doing with their farming, right? Because that's a system we're trying to understand. So what we did was zoom in, take a look at the micro, and what we're going to do now is zoom out and take a look at the macro, take a look at the big picture. And what we're gonna do is, uh, I printed it off, uh, you know, the, the, the sections they have on their spreadsheet. And, you know, I started going through this thing and there's a lot of variables here. There's a lot of units here and it's broken down. It's basically organized in a way that they can get their project done, right? So Marv is gonna, you know, take us on a little walk and tell us what each one of these sections are and basically how they've planned out planned out uh, their project, okay? Uh, hey, Mark, how you doing? Pretty good. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. My pleasure. Um, okay, so let, let's, let's just do a quick little run through this, okay? Mm -hmm. um, what we have is basically you guys decided to do a farm, right? Yeah. And your first thing, based on your spreadsheet, <coughs> based on, you know, you guys finally agreeing that, oh, you're going to go out there and do your thing. Mm -hmm. uh, what you had to do was come up with basically a menu, right? Yeah. Basically what the members of the CSA, the Community Sponsored Agriculture, would be getting every week on a, a breakdown of the actual crops they'd be getting. Yeah. So the first thing is menu. And this menu is basically what you're giving to your customers, the people who are buying into the CSA. For the I weekly think. shares, yeah. For the or, weekly shares. Yeah. And then you have, an, you have another menu here for the market, or basically what you're going to take to the farmer's market on a weekly basis. Yeah. Okay. So this is market. Cool, cool. So those are basically, this is your, basically what you plan on your product. Mm -hmm. These two things are your product. That's what you're, you're part of your business plan. This is what you're producing out, right? Yeah. Okay, um, so the next, the next thing that you have, the sheet that you have here is, is because this is what you want to produce, this is what you want to get out, yep. you have the next section in the spreadsheet is your harvest target. This is what you have to harvest to be able to supply your customers. Exactly. Okay, so this next section is your harvest target, which is basically, you know, these two things, plus or minus, you know, certain amount depending on what's what's happening. So this is basically your harvest target. And then the next sheet that you have is uh, basically your field work. What you need to do to meet your harvest target so you can supply your customers. Yeah. Right? So the next sheet is uh, field, field work sheet, which is basically, you know, it, it's broken down into, you know, harvest date, date to maturity. It's got a lot of time factors in there and it's got uh, your yield coming out 
what you're going to get depending on what you're planting. You know? Like yeah, like an overview of when when things have to be planted so that they're coming up at the right time and so that we have again so we're meeting the targets and then being able to supply you the know customers. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. And these are bro uh, li yeah, like uh, you got your yield and you also have broken it down into uh, you know how many beds, how many rows of stuff you need. So it's really going down. The big picture is this, you know, your <laughs> your field work and you're breaking it down into what you're going to be planting on each row and what you're going to get out of each row on each each bed. Right. And in total. Okay, so this is your field worksheet. And then in uh, the next, there's a couple of sheets that you have here, which is basically planting schedule, uh, pl uh, field planting dates. And these are broken down even, uh, you know, sort of overlapping between each one of these, right? Mm -hmm. So there's, there's overlap between each one of these sections, you know, part of this comes to here, part of this comes to here, part of this kicks into here, part of this kicks into the next one. Yeah, we're sort of like referring back to, okay, so we need this, you know, today we're planting, we can break it down into a daily schedule as well. You know, so on the planting days, it would be, yeah, we have to double check that our numbers are, okay, this is gonna be enough for market or we're gonna need to plant more, a little bit more of this, or like you said, the tweaking, right? The, the tweaking aspect. Or like, okay, or okay. one crop isn't doing so well, so maybe we will kind of hold that for another week and give more of something that's doing really well okay that okay, kind cool. of thing so cool, cool. yeah so this one we're going to just call field planting schedule or planting schedule so these are basically the five main sections that you have in your spreadsheet and that is you know sort of a big picture of starting from the menu going all the way to the field planting right but Within this, there's different modules to a certain degree, diff different things that you need to do that aren't related to the sections that we talked about, right? The four sections that we talked about, which is one of them is the greenhouse. So let's let's add a greenhouse here, green for greenhouse. So basically, there's a whole bunch of prep work that you need to do for the greenhouse, um, in the greenhouse, basically, to get your seedlings uh, germinating to be able to harvest them or plant them in, in, in the field, right? Yeah. So, Okay, okay. So there's there's a fair bit of work that you need to do. And this, this is, you basically, when you go to the farm, this is where you start. Yeah. When you start doing the seedlings and stuff. And you're doing field work at the same time too. Prepping stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Like tilling it up and, and adding compost um, okay. and mixing that in so that it's a good sort of medium for growing. Okay. And then the stuff that isn't started in the greenhouse is direct seeded as the, the DS there on oh, the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's directly, those are seeds put directly in the ground in the field. So there's a whole bunch of, and you know, the, you guys, Laura and Vanessa have like three different, three different sections in the spreadsheet dedicated to uh, the greenhouse. And, uh, you know, it's broken down into, you know, the timing, when you have to uh, start germinating the seeds, you know, how many seeds you need, the ratio of, you know, seeds to, to actual popping up uh seasoning popping up there's you know there's a whole bunch of different cells here a uh, whole bunch of different information on what they need to do in the greenhouse to be able to you know basically meet their targets for their customers and their market right and what you know and, and it's all there's a whole bunch of mathematics involved in this when you go into each cell there's a there's formulas connecting, you know, different sections of the spreadsheet and different yeah. different things dividing just to make sure that this is what you started with. And what they what they've done is linked all these different cells together. So if you change something in the menu, it's going to change everything else. So that way, you know, you know exactly what you need to do. So you can think about this thing as basically a very intense list to do list that they've created to get their project, whatever it is that they're trying to do, right? Whatever it mm -hmm. is that you guys are trying to do. Yep. And one other thing that you have here and where it all starts, and this is something that you've already done, which is basically you have a whole sheet here of how many seeds you're gonna order. Right. And this is, and you've already placed the orders right now. We're in, what are we? Uh, Mid-March. Mar March, yeah. mid middle of March, and you've already placed your order for the seeds. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole section here dedicated uh, to you know how much seeds they're going to buy 
uh, and what the cost is and you know how many and this is broken down into seeds per gram and uh, the weight and uh, ounces and weight and number and there's a whole different bunch of uh, columns here breaking down what you need for your seeds yeah just streamline it kind yeah. of so there's a whole another section should we put it here yeah let's put it here so there's a whole section here at the beginning that you've already done at the beginning of March really uh, ordering your seeds so this is basically all the different sections in the spreadsheet laid out and everything is macro linked together in the spreadsheet where you know if you change something in a field in one of the sections it changes everything else in the other sections so you know nothing gets thrown off um, and this is basically you know the the macro view the the big picture of what Marvel and Vanessa are doing uh, with their project with the with the with the farming with the CSA that they put together so this is this is what they're going in with and we're at the beginning of 2013 hopefully we'll touch base with you guys during the season and you know delve a little deeper maybe into some of these uh, some of the units some of the variables uh, in this spreadsheet because this is really uh, what it's about if you want to get a project done you, you need to create a list and this is a pretty intensive list because it's a lot of work there's a lot of things you have to take care of right yeah so at the end of the season hopefully this year you'll, you'll be able to weigh things and uh, give us more data and possibly create more sections in the spreadsheet so maybe we'll have a section here called what are we going to call it results results Let's call yeah. this results so this is uh, this is basically it uh marv thank you very much for coming out with us it was yeah. uh, it was fun uh i think you know it really helped me out anyway um to get an get an idea of what's going on and this is your timeline this is your to-do list this is your schedule this is your business plan and uh, again hopefully uh, I hope you see this uh, as results uh, hopefully at the end of this year we'll we'll come back and compare your results to what you expected so basically this is you know a very large scientific experiment that you're you're involved in which is basically what what you love doing yeah, yeah. totally okay, cool so do you put them one at a time or a bunch at a time or do you spray uh, is there any places that you spray seeds? No spraying. No. People don't do that really. Uh, it's called broadcast seeding. Broadcast um, seeding. People do it with um, things like cover crop. We, oh. Actually, we did that with a cover crop in the fall. What's we a cover just, crop? Uh, it basically, it, uh, it say like o uh, oats or oh. alfalfa, you put oh, it in okay, there yeah, yeah, okay. and it, it comes up and it can either overwinter or basically it holds the nutrients oh. in, in the plant and then you, you till it right in in the spring. Oh, so you don't harvest any of this? No, this is This is what you do for to maintain your fields? Yeah, to, to keep them healthy. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, yeah, you see it all over, like people in farmer's fields, if you see like a nice big green, green clover thing. So they're doing that to sort of hold their nutrients oh, in. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, what's it called again? It's uh, spraying the seeds? Broadcast, broadcast seeding. Broadcast seeding, but it's uh, the, the whole thing is a cover crop. It's a cover crop? Yeah. It's like growing grass? Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool.